Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that ASML's EUV lithography machines. ASML is the only company in the world that can produce EUV lithography machines, thus establishing its status as a giant in the ASML industry. However, EUV lithography machines are not the only way to produce high-end chips. Other technologies and processes are also breaking through the possibility of high-end chip manufacturing. Once successful, the era of EUV lithography machines may be coming to an end. So what technology explorations are there? Can ASML still grasp the two-year of EUV lithography machine? The era of EUV lithography machines is over. The birth of a chip will go through three major links, design, manufacturing, and packaging, of which the manufacturing link is the most important and the most difficult. The cost of chip design generally focuses on scientific research investment, EDA software authorization and labor costs, etc. However, chip manufacturing requires billions of dollars in expenses from building production lines to purchasing equipment and materials, to actual production and so on. If it is to produce high-end chips such as 7 nanometers and 5 nanometers, it is normal to invest tens of billions of dollars at every turn. Among other things, the purchase of one EUV lithography machine alone costs 120 million US dollars. TSMC has more than 80 EUV lithography machines. It is conceivable how much capital investment is. EUV lithography machines have limited production capacity, high cost, and are easily restricted by rules and cannot be shipped freely. Therefore, the outside world is trying to explore technologies and processes that bypass EUV lithography machines to produce high-end chips. So what technology explorations are there? The first is the nano-imprinting technology of Japan's Kioxia. The traditional chip manufacturing method uses the principle of a camera to expose the designed chip pattern on the wafer surface through a lithography machine. The whole process is extremely dependent on the four major components of the optical system, objective lens system, double workpiece table, and control system. If it is to produce high-end chips, it is also necessary to use EUV extreme ultraviolet light. Not to mention the high power consumption, the process is also very cumbersome. However, the nano-imprint technology developed by Kioxia Corporation of Japan simplifies the manufacturing process and reduces costs. The so-called nano-imprint technology is actually to engrave the chip pattern into the equipment template and then imprint the chip pattern on the surface of the wafer by stamping. Kioxia, Canon and other Japanese giants plan to develop in the direction of 5 nanometers high-end process. If successful, it may be a major breakthrough in the semiconductor industry followed by DUV multiple exposure technology. At present, the numerical aperture of the EUV lithography machine produced and shipped by ASML is 0.33, which has a very high precision. Although the equipment is good, not everyone can buy it. In contrast, DUV lithography machines are less difficult to obtain. However, due to the limited precision, if you want to expose more precise chip circuits, you need to use multiple exposure technology. 
TSMC once used DUV lithography machine to achieve 7 nanometers mass production through multiple exposures, which proved the feasibility of multiple exposure technology. Not only that, the American memory chip giant Micron Technology has also adopted multiple exposures to develop high-performance DRAM chips using DUV lithography machines. The energy efficiency of the chip has increased by 25%, power consumption has been reduced by 20%, and the density has increased by 35%. There is also advanced packaging technology. The chip manufacturing process continues to compress, and various problems have appeared after 3 nanometers. For example, Samsung's mass-produced 3 nanometers has a low yield rate, which leads customers to use it cautiously. There is also a cost phenomenon in TSMC's upcoming 3 nanometers mass production. It is rumored that TSMC's foundry quotation for each 12-inch wafer exceeds US$20,000, equivalent to 140,000 renminbi. Such an expensive price may dissuade many customers or cause the price of end products to skyrocket and consumers need to spend more to buy products. These are additional conditions for the pursuit of chip performance improvement, but the industry is actively exploring advanced packaging technology using 2.5D, 3D packaging technology to continue to expand chip performance. At present, paths such as chip stacking and core chips are being developed and advanced packaging will become the mainstream technology in the post more era. The continuous development of advanced packaging technology can be maintained without EUV lithography machine. Some US media said that the era of EUV lithography machines has begun to end. Keoxia's nanoimprint technology, Micron's EUV multiple exposure, and advanced packaging processes are all expected to get rid of the dependence on EUV lithography machines. This is the case in the semiconductor industry. It is advancing in continuous exploration. When humans created EUV lithography machines, they also stood out from countless options. But we can clearly see that the process of EUV lithography machine has slowed down, and ASML's next generation NAEUV lithography machine may be the last generation process. Whether ASML can continue to grasp the trend of EUV lithography machines depends on how far the traditional chip manufacturing process can go or whether Moore's law can continue for 10 years, or more than 20 years. ASML's EUV lithography machine has pushed human chips from the low end to the high end, and it is undeniable that the contribution it has brought is very large. But the road ahead cannot be limited to EUV lithography machines. In the half-century of human chip development, we have been breaking the limits. Perhaps EUV lithography machines are just the beginning of breaking the limits. Thank you for your watching.